Penny Pixel reporting tonight from the Laughing Crow Studios in Canada, Quincy is off for the evening. First up, the Toronto Star is reporting that the Russian ruble has been devalued for the eighth time this month. They report as follows. Russia's central bank allowed this month's eighth mini devaluation of the ruble yesterday, a day after the country's main export earner oil neared $30 U.S. a barrel, its lowest level since 2004, and the central bank has spent more than $100 billion defending the currency in the past four and one half months to prevent a run on banks and panic among the population, which still has sour memories of savings losses in the 1990s and in Soviet times. This is obviously quite devastating to the Russian middle class that has been attempting to eke out an existence and find a balance between the free market and that country's history as a centrally planned state economy. In more currency news, Bloomberg.com is reporting that the US dollar, or known in the Laughing Crow Studios as the Yankee Peso, dropped a fourth day against the euro as they report. The greenback also fell versus the yen on prospects the Federal Reserve will pump more cash into the economy. The British pound fell to near a record low against the euro after a survey of UK estate agents and surveyors forecast home prices will slide in 2009, extending this year's declines. People are worried over how bad the US recession is getting, and this week estate may heighten those concerns said Sutomu Soma, a bond and currency dealer at Tokus and Securities Co. In, and, while we are speaking about currency and so forth, the Globe and Mail is reporting that the banks in the U.S. are not stating how they are spending their money. The answers highlight the secrecy surrounding the Troubled Asset Relief Program, which earmarked dollar sign, $700 billion, about the value of the Netherlands economy to help rescue the financial industry. The U.S. Treasury Department has been using the money to buy stock in U.S. banks, hoping that the sudden inflow of cash will get banks to start lending money. There has been no accounting of how banks spend that money. Lawmakers summoned bank executives to Capitol Hill last month and implored them to lend the money not to hoard it or spend it on corporate bonuses, junkets, or to buy other banks. But there is no process in place to make sure that's happening. And there are no consequences for banks that don't comply. It is entirely appropriate for the American people to know how their taxpayer dollars are being spent in private industry, said Elizabeth Warren, the top congressional watchdog overseeing the financial bailout. But, at least for now, there's no way for taxpayers to find that out. Finally, the QCNAT or technical indicator has not triggered a sell at the end of December 26, 2008.